Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Just got done with church. It's Sunday. I want this to just be like a Christmassy vlog. We're getting into the Christmas spirit, but we're also getting some work done and talking about Jesus. We have a tree meeting later that I'm really excited about. A December day in my life. So excited. Instead of forcing myself to wear a blazer and go to a coffee shop, I'm leaning into how tired I feel today and I got into sweatpants. Bonus points that my matcha matches my sweatpants. So thank you Jesus for the cohesiveness of this vlog. Thank you for my Christmas tree that's finally up. Thank you for my sweet angel face. <laughs> goodness that was so fun I literally love talking with y'all in our community it is just amazing but now I have like 25 minutes to get ready for the party I also maybe want to throw in like a baked dish but I don't want to be super late guys we're really working on being on time So I think the most aesthetic thing that I did in this whole vlog is go get cookies from a store instead of make them. In a perfect world, I would have gotten done with my meeting and then made the most fire brownies. But is it a perfect world? No, it's a sinful, broken world. However, you guys, tomorrow I really want to make this yummy, healthy brownie recipe. It's sugar free. I just love Christmas. Can you say something enlightening? Life is short. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just eat some rice crispy yeah, treats once in a while. Thanks for that, Will. Hey guys, it's the next morning. I wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit for the day because I think I've worn this seven times and I got it last week. It's from Aloe Yoga. It's so comfortable. I love it has these like cute little flare cutouts. This is the first day that the sun is out and I am so happy. This year in particular, I don't know what it is. I'm getting to the end of the year and I'm like, wait, there's so many things that I thought were going to happen this year that didn't happen. Almost like you have these expectations. You set so many goals and if you don't hit them, I, I struggle with just being like, oh man, why didn't I hit that? Why did that happen? Did I not do enough? Did I not show up enough? There's a scripture that says his ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. When God wants something to happen, it will happen. To the Lord, a thousand years are like a day and a day is like a thousand years. You can have years where nothing happens and it's just same old, same old. And then you could have a day where God just like blows your mind. There have been seasons in my life where it's like one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. And then there are also seasons where it's just stagnant and it's just a season of faithfulness. I just feel like I'm in a season of faithfulness, a season of doing the same things every day, every week and being faithful and tending to the areas of my life that I want to be tended to. No one likes gardening. Like actually a couple people do. Farming is a better example. No one likes going into a field 
and planting stuff. No one. No one likes going out to the field and watering it. I know I don't. I don't even like watering my plants. Like some people love that. I just don't. But I think in the different areas of our lives, the only way to see true growth is to continually and faithfully water things in our lives. And that doesn't often look exciting. It's honestly pretty boring. If you feel this too, like, man, I wish more happened this year. I wish it was more of an exciting year. I think we get to just trust that when God wants something to happen, it will happen. And until then, we stay faithful to what he's put in front of us. Well, I've got news for you, I know you This is the I don't know what to eat for lunch, lunch. Kale with olive oil, salt, and pepper. We have avocado toast with egg on top with Ezekiel bread. Both of my fork is just executing this. And we have berries. Hold on, it's time for it to reappear. Yeah. I was gonna wear this before you walked down, by the way. That's right. And what are we doing tonight, Cece? Getting a little Holy Spirit prayer action moment. Basically, we're just all going to our friend's house and gonna invite the Holy Spirit and literally pray. Right. It's like For like three the hours. The wildest thing if you've like never done that before. You're like, what are you yeah. about? What are you guys gonna open? What are you gonna read? And we're like, the Bible and just wow. see where the Lord takes us. Yeah. So I'm excited because I think everyone's soul is just ready for it. Go yeah. subscribe to our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. Good morning, Angel. We're about to go and work out. I'm seriously stalling. So now I have to force myself to get out of this car, physically walk in the cold to the gym. And I just, I truly don't want to. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. And this is holding me accountable. You guys are holding me accountable. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can do it. I can do it. Y'all, I feel amazing. Something that came to mind during my workout if we are ever unsatisfied with our lives that is perhaps a good thing because it prompts us to take action if you want your life to change go and do something about it he says be strong and his mighty power he's telling us be strong but in god's power so step into it today Do you ever just drive and think, wow, I just gave the angels a literal field day? Reminder, when you feel called to pray for someone, just pray for them. The devil isn't going to tell you to pray for people. It's probably better to pray and be wrong about that person needing prayer than to not pray at all. Time for a little grocery haul. We have strawberries and blue, strawberries and, blue. Strawberries and blueberries, bananas, avocado, red onion, white onion, limes, and lemons. I had to get cacao nibs, so we have cacao nibs. I love these oats. These are my favorite oats in the whole wide world. Microgreens, I love putting these on top of avocado toast. Broccoli, cucumber, basil, tomato. Love this for me. I meant to get almond milk and oat milk, but I ended up just getting oat milk and oat milk. I love having like bars that I can just grab on the go when I'm at a coffee shop. This is so great for quenching your sweet tooth at night. And the raspberry one is to die for. We have sourdough for toast, chicken, salmon, eggs, and then lastly, I just have almond and coconut creamer. Look how wimpy my brother's bread looks hey, to our bread. It's, it's not what, what it looks like. You know, really? It's, it's what's on the inside that matters. All right. 
Alrighty, here is the finished product. We have a chicken pesto moment, and then I just made a little side salad. This is so perfect. Do you ever just have a meal and your life just like stops? Like the world just stops. Try it. What do you think? There's no sugar in it. <laughs> it was the point. No, I didn't really do it. Okay, bye. Hello, you guys. We are going shopping today, doing a little Christmas shopping. So we just got back from a dinner, but I have to show you guys this. What is it? Oh, I just showed you my address. <gasps> did I just get chills? Cause I think I did. <sighs> did I not say that I, I gave up on this? I gave up on it. I said, Lord, it's not in your will. It must not be in your will for me to have this lip gloss, but it was in his will. We're gonna try it together, okay? Ready? Oh, she is here and she is glossy. It tastes good. What do we think? I actually really like it. Yeah, I need to clean my room. Unpopular opinion, Home Alone 4 was the best one. No. like a lot going on. <laughs> what are we gonna do? We're just gonna walk? Pictures yeah. and just celebrate the sweet season of Christmas. Yes, because, yeah. Because he's the reason. He's the reason for the season. Amen. This is the first year. I've got a thought, dear, been planning on my own. So, what would you think about us making a clean getaway? Guys, that's daughter. <laughs> Not coming back till New Year's Day. Let's go to Paris for Christmas. This year. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Um, Jesus. And hot chocolate. <laughs> Looks not cute. We wanted the red cup, y'all. We asked, and hey, this is a little lesson. We asked because he says, ask and you will find. Nope, that's not what he said. <laughs> ask and you'll receive. <laughs> Seek and you'll find. Seek and you'll find. There we go. Y'all, but we asked and he said no. Sometimes you ask and God says no. Wishing our troubles away. Let's go. What was the best part of the maze? Being with <laughs> my sisters. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for watching. I love y'all. Merry Christmas.